There are new questions tonight about a discrepancy between the Oregon Health Authority and the CDC when it comes to wearing masks. In Oregon, masks are still required in health care settings, including pharmacies, but the CDC has different guidelines. Fox News' Adrian Thomas is live in studio tonight with what people are saying about this. Adrian? Well, Pete, Stephanie, updated guidance from the CDC late last month says if COVID-19 transmission levels are not considered high in a county, then health care facilities can make masks optional. But the Oregon Health Authority says that mask requirements remain in place at hospitals, doctors and dentists' offices, urgent cares or pharmacies regardless. Health professionals we spoke with today are generally supportive given the approaching flu season. The OHA doubling down on masks in healthcare settings. In the last day, OHA has released statements on social media saying models predict a rise in COVID-19 infections by November and a flu season that could be at pre-pandemic levels. Jennifer Irby, owner of Beaverton Pharmacy, supports the move. We still observe it because we are in close, close proximity with patients by helping them with home medical care. Irby says this doesn't come without challenges, especially when announcements from the CDC are typically what the general public looks at first. While people do hear the CDC recommendations, many times they do not understand that we're OHA. And so when OHA sometimes goes with the CDC and sometimes doesn't, it's very confusing as a business owner to know what to tell our customers. Dr. Rhett Cummings, who specializes in treating respiratory illnesses at the Oregon Clinic, also supports OHA's stance, saying the CDC changing its guidance may give people the wrong idea. The general public and I think the CDC may have uh, may have miscommunicated or dropped the ball on, on the details of the communication. When we're talking about community levels, it's not the same as community transmission. The CDC's website says community transmission is substantial or high in most counties across the country, even though overall community levels of COVID-19 in states like Oregon have been declining. Dr. Cummings adds it's important to understand this and any steps that can be taken to prevent hospitals from being stretched thin this winter is critical. Staffing levels are extraordinarily low. All of the hospitals and systems across the country are at high strain. When you add flu on top of COVID, it, there's, a, there's a prediction that we're going to have another surge. Now, the OHA did say in a recent social media post that the agency is considering potential changes to the current health care setting masking requirement, but no timeline was given on when those changes might come. Live in studio, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.